Hello students. Let us continue the session on playing with the numbers. We had discussed highest common factor and we have understood there are two important methods for finding the highest common factor. One of the method is called as factorization method and it is also called as prime factorization method and the second method is called as division method. We have solved few questions using these two methods. Let us solve one or two questions. The question is the length, breadth and height of a room are 8 meter 25 centimeter 6 meter 75 centimeter and 4 meter 50 centimeter respectively determine the longest side sorry the longest tape it's not the side longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly here if you observe 8 meter 25 centimeter 6 meter 75 centimeter 4 meter 50 centimeter these are the length breadth and height of the room respectively first let me convert all of these three in the same unit so i prefer expressing them in terms of centimeter so 8 meter 25 centimeter is same as 825 centimeter because 1 meter is 100 centimeter here I'll mention 1 meter is 100 centimeter so 6 meter 75 centimeter will be 675 centimeter and 4 meter 50 centimeter will be 450 centimeter now to find the longest tape which can measure each of the dimension exactly i need to find the highest common factor when three different numbers are there we have learned how to find the highest common factor since the given numbers are little larger i would prefer solving it by division method so 675 divides 825 one time so we get 675 to be subtracted from 825 it becomes 150 now 150 is a divisor we need to divide 675 15 fours are 60 so 150 multiplied to 4 will be 600 so 75 will be the remainder now I divide 150 it goes exactly by two times so the remainder becomes a zero therefore the highest common factor of 675 and 825 is 75 with this 75 i need to divide 
the next number that is 450 when it is multiplied six times we exactly get 450 and the remainder becomes a zero therefore the highest common factor of 675 825 and 450 will be 75 hence the required largest tape will be 75 cm let us solve one more question related to highest common factor a rectangular country yard is 20 meter 16 centimeter long and 15 meter 60 centimeter broad these are the dimensions it is to be paved with square stones of the same size Find the least possible number of such stones. Find the least possible number of such stones. As I had mentioned, this is a question related to highest common factor. So as we had done it in the previous question let us express the length and breadth in terms of the same unit I'll consider the length as 20 meter 16 centimeter in terms of centimeter so it is 2016 centimeter and the breadth will be 15 meter 60 centimeter which is 1560 centimeter to find the highest common factor let us divide the larger number from the smaller number so 1560 has to be subtracted from 2016 we will be getting 456 now 456 divides 1560 which is the previous divisor the nearest is three times and we get 1368 let us subtract we will be getting 192 now 192 will divide 456 two times we get 384 let's subtract this we'll be getting 72 let me continue division here 72 divides 192 two times is 144 on subtracting we will be getting 48 48 divide 72 one time so we get 24 24 will divide 48 exactly two times so the highest common factor is 24 So what we can conclude with this let me write it here we have got the highest common factor of 
1560 and 2016 as 24 therefore side of each square stone required will be 24 cm therefore the least number of stones will be length into breadth of country yard divided by length into breadth of stone what is length into breadth of the country yard it is 1560 multiplied to 2016 length into breadth of the square tile is 24 into 24 we need to simplify this upon simplification 24 65 times and 24 84 times so the product becomes 5460 so these many tiles are required to pave the country yard now i'll take up the new concept called as least common multiple which is also called as lcm what is the meaning of least common multiple i'll put it in this way the least common multiple or the lcm of two or more numbers is the least natural number that is a multiple of the given number just observe the statement here the lcm of or more numbers is the least natural number that is a multiple of given number let me take an example i'll take some numbers say multiples of 2 i will write multiples of 2 are the table of 2 and the multiples of 3 i'll write table of 3 multiples of 2 are 2 4 6 8 0 on and if you observe 0 is also a multiple same way 0 3 6 9 and so on these are the multiples of 3 let me write down the common multiples what are the common multiples the common multiples are 0 the common multiples are 6 12 and so on among this which are the least common multiple least common multiple is zero but otherwise zero or other than zero let me put it in this word other than zero will be 6 we always remember we do not consider 
zero as the multiple least common multiple we always consider the next number that is six so the least common multiple of two and three is six there is another method by which we can find the least common multiple that method is called as prime factorization method how do we use this prime factorization method to find least common multiple so let me take up it as a question find least common multiple of 8 12 and 18 by prime factorization method let me write the prime product of these three numbers in the previous session we have learned how to write the prime product for that i'll divide 8 to 4 times to 2 times to 1 time it is nothing but 2 multiplied 3 number of times same way 12 i will divide by the prime factors 2 divides 12 by 6 times 2 divides 6 by 3 times 3 divides 3 by 1 time so 2 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 3 will be the prime product of 12 prime product of 18 is obtained by dividing we get it as 2 multiplied to 3 multiplied to 3 in finding the highest common factor we were considering the least number of times the given uh, number is repeated here you just observe 2 is repeated for maximum 3 number of time here 3 is repeated for maximum 2 number of time so I need to consider these numbers so the least common multiple is 2 multiplied maximum number of times 3 multiplied maximum num 3 repeated maximum number of time so 2 cube 2 multiplied 3 times is 8 3 multiplied 2 times is 9 8 nines are 72 so the least common multiple is 72 let me take up one more uh, example let us find the least common multiple of 36 75 and 80 let us follow the same procedure let us express 36 75 and 80 in terms of prime product let me find out prime product of 36 for that let me divide by 2 to 18 times 2 9 times 3 3 times 3 1 time so 2 multiplied 2 times 3 multiplied 2 times will be the product prime product of 36 to find the prime product of 75 let us divide it this 75 when it is divided by 2 3 it becomes 25 so 5 5 times is 25 5 1 time is 25 so the prime product is 3 multiplied to 5 multiplied to 5 the prime product of 80 will be 2 dividing 80 by 40 times to 20 times is 40 to 10 times is 20 to 5 times and 5 1 time so 2 is multiplied 4 number of times and 5 is multiplied 1 time to find the least common multiple I need to identify the numbers how many times it has repeated 
टू इज रिपीटेड फॉर मैक्सिमम फोर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सो टू रेस टू द पावर फोर मल्टीप्ले टू फाइव रिपीटेड टू टाइम्स फाइव स्क्वायर मल्टीप्ले टू थ्री रिपीटेड टू टाइम्स थ्री स्क्वायर सो द एलसीएम इज टू मल्टीप्लेड फोर टाइम्स इंटू फाइव मल्टीप्लेड टू टाइम्स इंटू थ्री मल्टीप्लेड टू टाइम्स सो इट इज सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लेड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लेड टू नाइन अपॉन मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी विल बी गेटिंग थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो द लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इन प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन let me simplify this prime factorization method in another way i will consider the same numbers and i'll carry out prime factorization 36 75 and 80 these were the numbers let me follow in this way of division the same prime factorization is done in a different method I'll consider the least prime number two. Two divides thirty-six eighteen times. Seventy-five is not divisible, so this number I have to take forward as it is. Further, two divides eighteen nine times seventy-five as it is twenty. So two divides. 9 as it is 75 as it is it becomes 10 then 2 divides only 10 five times rest of the numbers written like previous now we have to consider the next prime number 3309 three 25 times is 75 once again 3 divides 3 one time rest of the number as it is then 5 i have to take 5 1 times 5 5 times 1 is written as it is now 5 divides 5 1 time we have to carry out this process till we get 1 1 1 all numbers are to be divided at the end we have to get 1 Now you just observe. Two is multiplied how many times? This is one time, two time, three time, four time. So two raised to the power four multiplied to three is repeated how many times? Two times. So three square multiplied to five square. This will be the least common multiple. So the least common multiple is sixteen multiplied to nine multiplied to twenty-five. We get it as three thousand six hundred. Will this method is easy compared to the previous one? You can follow this. This method is also a prime factorization method. What we are getting here towards the left side, these are all prime products. let me highlight them these are the prime products 2 is multiplied 4 times 3 is multiplied 2 times 5 is multiplied 2 times these are the prime products now you must have understood it now Let us solve one more question in this method. Let me consider a question as find the LCM of twenty-four, twenty-four, eighteen, thirty-six, and forty-five. Very simple. Let us follow the method just now we have discussed. I'll prefer writing the smaller number. at the first then followed by the larger number then i will keep dividing with the prime numbers remember friends we should not consider 
any prime number you have to consider the smallest prime number 9 12 18 it is not divisible so 45 is written as it is once again we have got a even number let me divide by 2 9 written as it is 6 times then 9 times 45 is written as it is now i will once again divide by 2 because 6 is divisible by 2 so 9 3 9 45 now i will consider the next prime number 3 3 3 9 one time 3 3 9 3 15 times 3 divides one time one time one time this is five times so five one time here you observe at the end i am having all ones so the least common multiple is the product of 2 cube because 2 is repeated 3 times into 3 repeated 2 times into 5 repeated 1 time this will be 8 multiplied to 9 multiply to 5 8 9 72 multiply to 5 this will be 360 so the least common multiple is 360 we shall continue the session with some more questions related to least common multiple in tomorrow's class That's all for today's session. Thank you.